You are listening to the Cellulite Site Podcast, episode number nine. Step seven in the cellulite circuit. The final frontier in the cellulite circuit routine featuring the revolutionary Revo 4-in-1 cupping device. Welcome to the Cellulite Site, where we meet cellulite challenges with care, confidence, commitment, community, compassion, concern, consistency, and courage. And now your host, Bree Cox Kennedy. Welcome back, my beautiful ladies. Congratulations. Wow, we've made it to the last step in our cellulite circuit daily routine to combat and reduce cellulite. I know I've given you a lot of information and we've covered a lot of ground in the past two months. But hopefully by now you're settling into the rhythm of your new daily routine. If you're not familiar with steps one through six of the cellulite circuit, please refer to our website to read the blogs or listen to episodes three through nine of our podcast. Visit us at our website at thecellulitesite.com and download your free copy of the Cellulite Circuit Checklist so you can follow the steps easily, as it's hard to remember each one of them. So a few months back, as I was restocking on my silicone cups for my regular cupping massage routine, I stumbled upon an advertisement for the Revo 4-in-1 LED cup. Have you heard of this? Well, I was captivated by curiosity, so I decided to invest the $50 in trying it out. Quite frankly, I was quickly impressed by its user-friendly design and the convenience of the ability to multitask while it handled the job. I'm all about efficiency. The last step in the cellulite circuit is designed to follow the silicone cupping massage, which is step six. Step seven is then seamlessly integrated in the routine by introducing the Revo LED cupping device. Once the silicone cups have done their work, I position the Revo LED cupping device on a targeted area and let it do its magic for a dedicated 20 minutes. However, applying the cupping device requires oil. So what I want you to do is switch from your M3 Naturals anti-cellulite massage oil, which should be soaking into your skin, and apply castor oil to the targeted areas of your treatment. This proactive measure not only enhances the gliding motion of the cupping device, but also contributes to the overall effectiveness of the oils and the treatment. The castor oil serves as a supportive element working in tandem with the Revo LED cupping devices to promote optimal results and skin rejuvenation. I will cover all the benefits of castor oil in another episode, but for now, here are some of the reasons that I incorporate it into my lifestyle and the cellulite circuit routine. Number one, it offers hydration and moisturization. Number two, it has anti-inflammatory properties. Number three, it has detoxification properties. Number four, it has the potential for scar reduction. And in the area where I apply mine, I have stretch marks also. (laughs) Do women ever get a break? (laughs) Okay, I digress. Let's focus on the treatments. In this podcast, we will explore how this suction device is designed to reduce cellulite, leaving your skin firmer, smoother, and younger looking. The blog will delve into its features, benefits, and the results achieved through clinical studies. The manufacturer for the Revo, which is spelled R-E-V-O, 4-in-1 LED cupping device, are firmer, smoother, and tighter skin, reduction of cellulite and stretch marks, and 
visible in just three weeks. Hmm. Okay, pretty interesting. So insight into recent clinical studies showcases the effectiveness of dry moving cupping therapy where the Revo decreased cellulite appearance by an impressive 75% in just five weeks. Understanding the science behind the Revo as it combines four clinically proven technologies, dynamic suction, red light therapy, infrared heat, and vibrational massage. Let's explore each element's role in safely and effectively eliminating cellulite, reducing stubborn fat, and improving skin sagging and fine lines. Number one is the heat, which enhances circulation for improved skin health. Second is suction, release toxins and break up fat cells for a smoother appearance. And third, red light, which improves skin texture and overall skin health. So how does the Revo cupping help reduce cellulite? Well, it helps reduce cellulite and tightens the skin with its synergized therapy modes featuring dynamic suctioning, adjustable pressurized cupping, targeted heating, and red light therapy. Remember, it is recommended to apply a light coat of castor oil on the area that you are targeting before placing the Revo cup on the skin. So how do I use the suction cupping for cellulite removal is a question that is asked on the Revo website. It goes on to explain that the synergized therapy modules do an excellent job at reducing cellulite while tightening the skin. Featuring dynamic suctioning, adjustable pressurized cupping, targeted heating, and red light therapy, Revo claims that it's quite easy and effective to reduce cellulite on arms, legs, or buttocks. So like me, you may be wondering, is there any scientific evidence on cupping reducing cellulite? According to Revomatic, the answer is yes. There are many scientifically proven studies which have proved significant decrease in female cellulite and improved skin elasticity as a direct result of cupping therapy. And in a study titled Dry Cupping Therapy Decreases Cellulite in Women, a pilot study where 40 female participants underwent cupping therapy on their thighs, the results proved to be impressive a statistically significant decrease in cellulite on the thighs of the participants was represented by over a 75% decrease in measured cellulite after just two sessions per week for five weeks. Within a mere two weeks of incorporating the Revo into my routine, it became evident that I was making a positive impact on evening out the skin texture. Quickly recognizing the potential for long-term benefits, I decided to integrate it into my daily regimen for ongoing maintenance. To ensure targeted results on both legs, I invested in a second unit. My expectations were high for this remarkable tool as I was determined not to have cellulite on one leg while the other showed improvement. If you know me by now, you know time efficiency is key, and I was eager to witness results in the shortest duration possible. To embark on your cupping journey effectively, preparation is key. I personally start by donning a silk, ruffly bathrobe, a choice that doesn't restrict movement or add extra weight to the cups. Before attaching the cups to my target areas, I apply a daily moisturizing lotion from my knees to my feet, and then I gather all the necessary items for my hair and makeup routine, preventing the need to bend over with the cups on. Once those cups are in place, the pulling sensation discourages any sudden movements or bending. It's crucial to have everything that you need to get ready within arm's reach. For areas above or around the knee, 
particularly when standing, make sure the region is prepped. I can't tell you how much the skin tightens, making walking or bending the knee highly uncomfortable. As a personal tip, consider putting on your undergarments beforehand to avoid any awkward bending or walking situations. It might seem like TMI, but trust me, it's a practical precaution. So choose your position wisely, settling into one that you intend to maintain for the next 20 minutes. If you are applying the cups while bent over, standing upright once they start working becomes challenging. Align your cupping application with the position that you want to maintain, whether it's for makeup application or any other task. With everything in place, you're ready for a seamless and effective cupping session. Furthermore, my ladies, it is imperative to have water or your cellulite cleanse ready in your tumbler within arm's reach in the bathroom before applying the cups. During your cellulite circuit routine, aim to consume a minimum of 20 to 30 ounces of your cleanse or water to effectively flush out the toxins released during the cupping processes. I want you to be aware that the initial three minutes with the Revo cups can be quite intense. Brace yourself for some real discomfort. You might even find yourself gripping the side of your countertop, gasping for breath. <laughs> I, I, I can tell you it hurts. Taking deep breaths becomes a coping mechanism until the pain gradually subsides. It's unclear whether the skin goes numb or quickly adjusts, but rest assured the intensity is temporary. Embarking on the journey to smoother skin with the Revo 4-in-1 cupping device feels like signing up for Skin Texture Boot Camp. It's not all rainbows and butterflies. In fact, My backside and thighs look like they participated in a full-fledged battle, complete with the war wounds, or in this case, massive amount of bruises. Picture this, a softball-sized badge of honor proudly displayed as if my skin just returned from a hardcore training session. These bruises are not fleeting visitors. They're committed residents, setting up shop for days maybe even weeks. (laughs) It's like my skin decided to join the ranks of an exclusive club, the Bruise Brigade. So while I'm on the quest for firmer, smoother skin, my backside has taken one for the team, wearing its bruises like a champ. It's a small sacrifice for the greater good of skin perfection. Battle wounds on the path to beauty. However, I'm ready to embrace a bit of momentary discomfort in exchange for reaching the pinnacle of results. The grand finale of the cupping session is the suction release. I felt like it was important to let you in on this. It's like a little surprise party for your skin, and your heart is the guest of honor. Initially, the the release startles you, and you're left wondering if your skin just threw... (laughs) A little celebration of its own. (laughs) I crack myself up. All right, back to the script. After five weeks of cupping, you'd think my heart would be (laughs) would be in on the secret, but nope, it still does a little happy dance every time. (laughs) Oh my god, I have to compose myself. I have no idea why that was so funny. Okay, now let's talk about my relationship with effort or lack thereof. I confess, I've got a bit of laziness in my beauty routine. I think today is foundation and mascara day. I digress. The Revo cups that stay in place are like my beauty knights in shining armor, providing a sense of freedom. All I do is set the timer on the Revo devices for 20 minutes, and while the cups do their magic, I'm in full makeup artist mode. Except for today, and I will share with you why in a few minutes. It's like having a personal beauty assistant, multitasking at its finest. Just as the first session wraps up, 
I'm all set to embark on the next task, which is styling my hair. 20 minutes later, my hair is transformed, and all I had to do was focus on blow drying and styling my hair while the Revo cups did their thing. Who said beauty has to be a workout? Cheers to the magic of timed cupping sessions, making my routine as smooth as my skin as I conquer the beauty world one timer at a time. So after employing the cups for approximately five weeks, I definitely noticed a subtle tightening in my skin. However, sadly, I have put my Revo cups in the drawer for the next five weeks as I will be leaving for a trip to Singapore, Southeast Asia, and Phuket. So I have discontinued the use of them two weeks prior to departure, so the bruising fades. I won't pack these up and travel with them because they're a bit bulky and I don't want to be bruised during my trip. It will be really hot there, and my newfound firmness on my legs has translated into a little bit of boost of confidence allowing me to confidently flaunt shorter skirts and reveal more leg than I would have dared before. So my friends, anticipation fills me as I prepare for the upcoming trip, ensuring I pack the essential tools, a dry brush, my anti-cellulite massage oil, my fascia blaster, and just one single silicone cup. Unfortunately, the cellulite cleanse will not be a part of my routine for the next 18 days. While I'm eager to embark on my fabulous trip to Southeast Asia, there's an equal level of excitement for my return. I just can't wait to dive back into the cellulite circuit in its entirety and resume the pursuit of my beauty and wellness goals. I would love to hear your success stories, ladies, so please share in the comment section down below. After dedicating extensive time to curate top-tier product recommendations, we've curated an ideal collection to kickstart your cellulite circuit morning routine. Explore the suggested items by following the provided affiliate links. Your acquisition through these links not only enhances your transformation, but also supports our channel. Your valuable support is sincerely appreciated and cherished. So begin your transformative journey today and contribute to the growth of our vibrant community. Visit us at thecellulitesite.com for inspiration and valuable information. Click on Downloads to download your free copy of the Cellulite Circuit Checklist to help you stay motivated and on track with your daily routines. Be sure to like and follow us on all of our social media platforms for your daily doses of encouragement. Empower your journey one day at a time, my beautiful friends. I love you, and I will see you here in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to the Cellulite Site. We appreciate you being part of our community, dedicated to exploring and sharing insights on cellulite health. Connecting with confident women like you is what makes this journey so fulfilling. Our mission is to simplify your path to progress and spare you from months of uncertainty. If you're ready to take your journey to the next level, visit thecellulitesite.com to grab your cellulite circuit checklist. Embark on your transformative journey today and in the coming weeks, witness firsthand how these concepts can make a positive impact. Remember, it's not just about absorbing information intellectually, it's about committing to the work and celebrating the results. A quick reminder, the content shared is based on personal experiences and perspectives and is not medical advice.